Today you're going to learn how to make a realistic map effect animation in a few simple steps. I will also reveal a secret technique to make this type of depth animation easier to make for you later into this video. So the first thing you'll have to do is simply create a new After Effects composition. Now you'll have to drag and drop do those three type of medias. You'll need a map texture, an ocean texture animation, and a PNG of clouds. Simply drag and drop them inside of your After Effects project. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply import the map picture first. Simply import it inside of your timeline. Scale it to your liking. Now the next step is the highlighting part. So what I'm gonna do is simply pick this pen tool right there. And I'm simply gonna highlight the region that I wanna highlight. So make sure that there's no colors in between the, the stroke. What you can do is simply click on fill and click on this right there. And now you can simply make the stroke a little bit less prominent and fix your mask a little bit more like that. Now what I'm gonna do is simply go to my shape layer, pull it down like that, and I'll click on add. Then what I'm gonna do is simply click on trim path. I'm gonna put it down again. And then what I'm gonna do now is simply keyframe the strokes. So I'm gonna Add the first keyframe right there and I'm going to put the value at zero. Then I'm going to go a few frames forward. I'm going to put the value at 100%. So it's a quick animation like that. You can put it slower by simply making the keyframes a little bit further from each other. And simply smooth it all up by selecting the keyframes and clicking on F9. All right. And now you can actually put a glow effect into your strokes like that now the next step is to simply now the next step is to simply mask out all of the land so you'll have to remove the water from the picture so in order to do that you're gonna have to select the layer of your map you're gonna have to click on the pen tool and now what you're gonna have to do is simply make a selection Once this is done, it will give you something like that. This is normal. You're gonna have to pull down the mask section. Pull it out again. Now I increase the mask feather. Now you're gonna have to increase the mask feather. And now what you're gonna have to do is simply put your ocean texture underneath all of that. So this is what it gives us right now. And as you can see, the water of the picture is actually brighter than the water of the animation. So what you can do is simply add a saturation effect to make it brighter. Put the saturation up and the lightness up like that. And it matches a little bit more. So now that this is done, what you're going to have to do is simply Ctrl A to select everything and Ctrl Shift C to make it into a pre-composition. Now the next step is to simply add your clouds into the mix. Simply drag and drop it into your composition. Now make sure to place them in a really diverse way so copy and paste it like that all right you don't need to overdo it but i'll i think i'll keep it like that so finally most important is the step that break your animation so you, so you better not mess this thing up so i suggest you to really pay attention to this part so in order to make a really in-depth animation what you have to do is simply convert everything into 3d you're gonna have to create you're gonna have to convert every single layers into 3d and place them accordingly in 3d space this can be a really long process but i got but in this video i'm gonna use the 3d5 pro plugin it is actually a plugin that does all of the hard work for you so you won't have to place the layers by yourself you're simply gonna have to click on create 3d camera and layers and it will convert your scene into 3d and create a camera for you and also it's going to create a null controller to control the camera the link of the plugin will be in the description as well as a five dollars discount code so if you want to save time don't hesitate to use it so as you can see what you can do is simply reposition your clouds if it messed things up a little bit and if i go to two views as you can see my scene is really into 3d now and to add a lot more depth i could really move around the layers but this plugin has a room size slider that makes it for you so i'm just gonna put it all the way up like that i'm simply gonna move my layers again my clouds layers 
because they're all over the place. So now what I'm going to do is a camera animation. So I'll select the camera. So I'll position it like that. And then what I'm going to do is simply make an animation. So I'll add a keyframe like that. Then I'm simply going to pull out the null controller right there, just above. And I'm simply going to add a keyframe to make it zoom into the continent. To smooth it, to make everything smoother, what you can do is simply select all of your keyframes, click on F9, and it should be smoother. All right. So as you can see now, the camera animation is really smooth. The only problem is that the map is actually cut enough. So to fix that, simply select your map, the pre-composition. Now simply click on Expand Selected Layer, and the problem is fixed. And to add a, a bit more of realism, what you can do simply add, click the camera shake button to make everything a lot more realistic like it's from a uh, plain PO POV you can simply adjust your shake settings right there you can also edit the values and don't forget to add motion blur to the mix for it to be really smoother so this is what it looks like right now it's actually a really simple and quick animation to do I hope the video was helpful if it was i think this video will also be helpful for you if you're trying to learn more about the 3d camera and how to imitate the style of Houston Cold, etc. I really recommend you watching this video. I'll see you out there.